El propósito de este video no es de cubrir todas las instrucciones y normas de seguridad, sino más bien llamar la atención sobre los peligros y las prácticas inseguras que pueden causar lesiones e incluso accidentes graves. Por favor, consulte nuestro manual de seguridad de la empresa para obtener más detalles. All right, team, listen up. Yes, so nice. Now today, we're going to talk about being an important member of your team. Now, not just your Wigington team, of your home team, and of your community's team. And one of the easiest ways to be a good member of a team is to be safe. And one of the easiest ways to be safe is to use your personal protective equipment, your PPE. I think we can all thank our good friend Bob over here, who with his power machine incident, he showed us the importance of using proper PPE. Thank you, Bob. And that's the reason That's the reason that we're having this meeting today. Wigginton thought we needed a refresher and I couldn't agree more. So team, it's time to suit up. PPE includes, but is not limited to, hard hats, safe footwear, vests, Eye protection. Gloves. And hearing protection. What's going on with your PPE, Larry? Didn't your supervisor explain to you the importance of proper PPE? Sure, coach. I just think it looks better on me like this. Okay, team. Looks like we've got a real uh, teachable moment here. Let's say one of your Wigginton team members, let's call him Larry. That is my actual name. <laughs> Larry thinks that being stylish is more important than safety. All right, team, we're gonna huddle up and figure this out. Now, just like your favorite football player's gotta wear his helmet, his shoulder pads, and his gloves, you too must have the proper protective equipment before you go out on the field. Larry has decided to wear his hard hat that way. Now, Since this is not the proper use of PPE, what do you think its effectiveness will be should you encounter a hazard? Not very effective. Exactly. Now let you in on a little secret. Sure, coach. Not even a supermodel can make a hard hat look stylish. It's ridiculous to try. Now fix it. Good. What is with those shoes? Is it bad? Is it bad? Yes, it's bad. Larry, you work in an area with heavy tools that could drop right on your foot. Plus, your work area has nails and debris that will go right through the sole of a regular shoe. Ready to work, coach. Hold on a minute, Larry. Are those fancy sunglasses proper PPE? Well, no, but they protect my eyes. Do they? Do they? No, they don't. The tasks you're performing today are going to kick up small particles or dust or even pipe shavings. Only proper eye protection can be used when doing those tasks. Check out my ear protection. Will that protect your hearing at noise levels above 85 decibels? I highly doubt it. Well, then take it off and put on some earplugs or proper hearing protection. It's required. Okay, sir, I got my hat on straight, my proper footwear, my ear and my eye protection. Now, where's that power machine? Not so fast, Larry. Let me see your hands. Where'd you get those? My Grammy made them for me. 
Oh, did she? Out of cut resistant fibers? I think they're just yarn. Will somebody get this kid the proper hand protection? Thank you. There. Now you're ready to go. Now team, PPE is required for all employees to ensure protection against recognized hazards. PPE is not optional. Now look guys, I know that a lot of the stuff I've said today just sounds like common sense. But as we saw from our friend Larry, common sense isn't necessarily the same for everyone. That is still my actual name. Shh. 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 Now safety must always be your number one priority. Ignorance is not an excuse. Now with a good focus on health and safety, all of the other Wigginton priorities will fall into their correct order. Quality, customer service, and lastly, efficiency. And it all begins with PPE. Use it only as it's intended. And that's the way to be a good team member for your team here at Wigginton, for your team out at home, and your team in your community. Where's Bob? Looks like we might need a refresher on vehicle safety. EPP, equipo de protección personal, tales como cascos, deben ser usados en todo momento, en cualquier lugar de trabajo de construcción. Cascos también deben ser usados siempre que haya una posibilidad de que algo caiga y se pueda chocar contra algo. Elevadores de tijera, sin importar que sea una zona de construcción o un edificio. Otros EPP, equipo de protección personal, están disponibles para su uso. Gafas de seguridad, guantes, chalecos y tapones para los oídos o orejeras. EPP adicional se puede requerir dependiendo de ciertas asignaciones de trabajo. Se le darán instrucciones sobre el uso adecuado de tales. Ropa apropiada, incluyendo zapatos de punta de seguridad, deben ser utilizados en todo momento en todos los lugares de trabajo sin tener en cuenta si se trata de una zona de construcción o no. Zapatillas deportivas no están permitidas. First question, Bob. Are you even approved to be driving a Wigginton vehicle? Okay. Only those who have met the driver requirements are permitted to drive a Wigginton vehicle. I just got approved this morning, coach. Excellent. Well, let's, uh, let's file a report on this. I want you to go get checked out by a doctor. Let's get a new truck. Yep. Now, before we go anywhere, we need to make sure that our load is secure. Now, anything and everything that can fly off the back of this truck or off of the racks while your vehicle is in motion must be secured. Now, that includes ladders, toolboxes, and even your water coolers. Also, remember the necessary PPE, tools and equipment you'll need for the specific job site we're heading to. All right, gentlemen, let's head to the job site. Sweet. Who wants to ride with me? Guys. You're riding with me. You still got a lot to learn, Larry. Still my actual name. I don't I don't care. Hey coach, do you mind if I stop by the coffee shop and pick up my girlfriend? She needs a ride home. Is she a Wigginton employee? <laughs> no. Well then no. Only Wigginton employees are allowed to travel in Wigginton vehicles. That includes passengers. Oh. Alright, well I'll just text her then. Give me that! Hey! Watch where you're driving, man! What the f I'm on a f job here! You a clown mother- That was graphic. Larry, listen to me. When you are when you are traveling in a Wigginton vehicle, you represent Wigginton. Think of this as a mobile 
billboard for the company. And everything you do in it represents our company. So if you're being distracted, disrespectful, and disorderly, that's a diss on the Wigginton team, okay? Gee, Coach, I never thought about it that way. Now, Larry, whenever you're on a job site, you gotta pay special attention to your surroundings. Now look, a lot of what we do here involves heights, mm -hmm. and we take fall protection very seriously, especially when we're working with ladders. There's one now. Let's check it out. Whoa, Larry, before you get on the ladder, I want you to inspect it for loose braces. This one looks good, coach. Good. Now when climbing or climbing down a ladder, you have to have three points of contact with your extremities. One, two, three. What, what, what are you doing? I'm just a few inches off where I need to be. Well then climb down the ladder and move it. You know walking the ladder like that can lead to a serious fall in an extremely dangerous situation. This is gonna take too long. Oh, well saving your life is more important than saving time, you idiot. Get off the ladder. Gee, thanks coach. Ooh, a scissor lift. Oh no. Hmm. All right, Larry. Now, before we operate the scissor lift, we have to make sure we're properly harnessed in and that the gate is closed. Ready? Okay. Now, when you're up here, there are two planes of traffic you have to consider. The traffic up here, and the traffic down there. Now up here, you might encounter rafters, sprinklers, or even pipes. Down there, you can encounter other people, other vehicles, or uneven terrain. So it is important that both planes of traffic are checked and cleared before you consider moving this lift. Got it? Thanks, Coach. Good. Larry, there are all sorts of things you can encounter on a job site. Uh, Forklift traffic, heights, confined spaces, any one of those could happen. The important thing is to be mindful. Always be aware of your surroundings, know what's going on at all times. Now, but, aw. Hey, hey, who left this lying around? Bob. Bob, I just, I just watched you hide, Bob. All right, now we need to have a refresher on housekeeping. Protección contra caídas. El arnés se debe usar en construcciones de seis pies o más, cualquier lugar que tenga cuatro pies o más por encima, inspectores, alarma, mantenimiento, levantamientos aéreos. Escaleras. Las escaleras se deben ser inspeccionadas antes de su uso. Tres puntos de contacto deben mantenerse al subir o bajar. Solo escaleras de fibra de vidrio pueden ser utilizadas. No se permitirán escaleras metálicas o de madera. Conducción. Solamente empleados autorizados pueden conducir un vehículo de la compañía. No se permiten mensajes de texto o mensajes de correo electrónico ni internet mientras se conduce. Los cinturones de seguridad deben ser usados por todos los ocupantes. Recuerde, usted está conduciendo un carro de la compañía. Los pasajeros no autorizados no están permitidos en vehículos de la empresa. All right. Looks like we need a refresher on housekeeping. We have maid service? No, Larry, we don't have maid service. Housekeeping is the responsibility of every one of us as team members. It helps to maintain a safe and efficient working environment. Do we have to clean this all up at the end of our shift? Oh, no. Actually, it's best to clean up throughout the shift. That way, messes like this don't pile up. That is one big mess. Yeah, and not only is it unpleasant to look at, it's also very dangerous for all of us. You realize you're pointing at Bob, right? There. Poor housekeeping can lead to all sorts of accidents. 
tripping over loose objects, leaning against poorly stacked items, or even piercing or cutting your own skin. Hmm. Now look, let's clean this up. Nice work. All right, now let's check this out. Now here, we have an excellent example of effective housekeeping and a properly maintained workstation. See how it's free of clutter and any spills? This is effective use of space. Now our guys have complete control over their tools and materials. Plus, working this way reduces fire hazards, it reduces exposure to vapors and dust in the air, and it reduces property damage. Now, good housekeeping doesn't just apply to the job site, it also applies to you. Oh, my room's pretty clean, I guess. No, not your room, Larry, I'm talking about you. Your own personal maintenance. The way you treat your body actually has an impact here at work. Huh? No, it's true. Now let's start with the obvious, lifting heavy equipment. Always lift responsibly, either with your legs or with assistance straps or even better, with someone else. Now don't try to be a macho hero and take it on by yourself because taking it on by yourself can lead to an injury and that could take you out of commission. Seriously! Will somebody please help Bob? And if you do some heavy lifting, give yourself a nice stretch afterwards. Now listen, it is important to be properly rested before your next day. Get the rest you need to tackle the day refreshed and rejuvenated. Now look, some of our work sites get pretty hot, especially during the summer months. So stay hydrated. Caffeinated beverages will dehydrate you. H2O is your best option. Now even the little things can make an impact, like hygiene for example. Did you know that better hygiene leads to improved overall health? You smell fine, Larry. What I'm saying is that with better housekeeping both on the job and at home, we're going to lead ourselves to more productivity and even boost morale. Boom. Now, let's take the things we've learned so far and apply them. Levantamiento. Use sus piernas, no su espalda. Busque ayuda cuando esté disponible para cargas pesadas. Estire los músculos antes de comenzar un día de trabajo y también después. Are you ready to apply all that we've learned? Yes, coach. All right. This is the Rigid 300 Power Machine one of the many power machines we use here at Wigginton. Now when used properly, she's a dream machine. But misuse her, and she's your worst nightmare. It's a little intense. Well, it's an intense machine, Larry! Okay! Hey, I should probably know the proper PPE required before I operate this or any other machine, huh? Wait, this says no gloves should be worn while operating this machine. They could get snagged. Atta boy. Good job. Now, 
Make sure that there's no water or liquids of any kind in the path of your tools and your plug. All clear, coach. Excellent. Now come on back. Now on all job sites, you must use the Ground Fault Circuit Interrupter, or GFCI. This is used whenever we're using power machines. Now, it must be plugged in directly to an outlet and in proper working condition. Never remove the ground for any reason, and make sure to check for any frayed wires. Now, if there are frayed wires, don't use electrical tape to repair them. That kind of careless solution will only lead to serious injury. Always aware of my surroundings. Wow. Wiginton is a great company to work for, and we strive to make it a safe place to be. Now, sure, there are on-site hazards. However, our promise to you is to keep you trained to face those hazards and avoid injury. Your safety is our number one priority. And as your part, safety needs to become your number one priority. Follow all safety protocols and report any hazards you see to your foreman or superintendent. We hope that you have a long, safe, and healthy career here, Larry. Still my actual name. Electrico. No utilice cables eléctricos pelados o defectuosos. Todos los cables eléctricos y herramientas deben estar conectadas a tierra, aisladas. ICFT, interruptor de circuito de falla a tierra, debe ser usado con herramientas y equipos eléctricos. Otras consideraciones de seguridad. No mide directamente a operaciones de soldadura o corte sin la protección adecuada para los ojos. No use el teléfono celular mientras manipula herramientas o equipos de la compañía. Esté siempre alerta. Si se le asigna una herramienta o EPP que nunca ha utilizado, consulte a su supervisor para una demostración antes de su uso. Conserve buenas prácticas. Los vehículos de la compañía, transporte de levantamiento, carretillas elevadoras y todos los demás equipos de potencia deben ser operados por personal autorizado, supervisor. Además, Debe tener una licencia o certificado para operar dichos equipos. Reporte cualquier condición insegura, equipos defectuosos o actos peligrosos inmediatamente al supervisor de trabajo. Reporte todos los accidentes y lesiones inmediatamente al supervisor de trabajo. Todas las lesiones, pequeñas o menores, deben recibir tratamiento de primeros auxilios. Hable con su supervisor de su lugar de trabajo.